Today I'm going to be talking about TweetDeck. TweetDeck is basically just a tool to help you manage Twitter and use it more effectively. So before I show it to you and how it works, let's have a look first at what Twitter normally looks like and uh, what's good about it but why you might not want to use it. So this is my home feed as you can see and if I want to move and have a look at different things I can have a look at my own feed, all of the tweets that I've produced and that's, that's, that's fine there and I can see all the suggestions here um, and I can look at notifications and see uh, what kind of uh, activity is happening that uh, relates to me and that's all fine. Now the issue with this is that uh, they present a lot of information here uh, in this one column but if I want to look at something else I've got to go to a completely different page to access it like my own feed or like the notifications or like I've been doing recently because I've been hosting it. Um, if I want to search up a hashtag I've got to go to search and um, search for the term and then it'll come up and I can have a look at what's happening. Okay? But then if I get a notification, um, I'll go to the notifications tab and then I'll see what's happening. And then in order to get back into it, I've got to search for Edu Tweet Oz again and then it's sort of a bit of a um, cumbersome process. So, uh, TweetDeck is basically designed to allow you to do a whole bunch of these things and see a whole bunch of these things all at the same time. So if you go to tweetdeck.twitter.com and then simply sign in with your existing um, Twitter account, it'll pull everything in for you. And when you do that, the very first time you log into TweetDeck, it'll look like this. Now, uh, it is a bit overwhelming the first time you see it, I'll admit, uh, especially if you've been using Twitter for a while and you're used to seeing everything just as one column. But have a look at what's going on. The headings here are helpful. Home simply corresponds to your home tab in normal Twitter. This is all the people who you follow and what's going on, um, retweets and pictures and all that kind of thing. That's the home column here. Notifications, this column is exactly what it sounds like. You've got um, direct messages here and activity is kind of, that corresponds to if you went to discover and you can um, um, go to activity here which tells you what people who you're following are favoriting and um, who they're following and what they're interested in, all that kind of thing. Okay, so that's the default view. Now, I actually don't tend to uh, like having my messages um, there all the time. So if I click up in the top right corner here, I can remove this column. And um, activity of my of people I'm following also isn't something I look at all that much. So I'm going to remove that. And now I have all this extra space, so I can fill that with whatever I want. So for instance. Uh, if you go over here to add column, um, you can choose all these different things that you can add which will come up. For instance, you could just have, um, if there's a particular person who you love looking at their tweets all the time, or maybe a news site that you know updates quite frequently, you could pick user. Um, you can pick trending, which will just tell you whatever's popular at the time. What I tend to use it for is a search. So for instance, I want to search for all of the hashtag edutweetoz tweets. So if I add that column there, now, anything that anyone posts on hashtag EduTweetOz will come up um, automatically. I don't have to refresh the page or anything. And at the same time, uh, one, another one that I like to follow is EdChat, because I think it's pretty useful. And it'll search for a few and then it'll tell you what it finds. And there you go. Okay. Now, I've got um, space for four columns here. Oh, you can see there's new content coming up. Um, but there's no, you can, you can put as many columns as you like. So for instance, if I wanted to add another column, I would search for, say, since I'm a math teacher, I could search for math chat. I could put that on there. I could add that column. And it just will add on over on the right. So I can um, switch between columns. I know some people who use six or seven columns, actually. Just whatever tickles your fancy. Um, obviously, you actually have the option to move these around. So if you uh, click on the top left corner of any of the columns. For example, if I want math chat to be further over here, I can just drag that over and it'll change position for me. And I can do that with any of them or I can uh, get rid of that again and I can customize it as I see fit. So you can even include additional accounts if you want. So you can um, go to settings and uh, you can add accounts, so add Twitter account as you can see because I'm posting it at the moment I have edu tweet Oz added in there so uh, that allows me if I wanted to to see the home feed and the notifications for that as well as for my normal account so even though it's a bit overwhelming to begin with having so much information in front of you I actually find it more helpful because I don't have to flick between 
uh, different tabs, different pages in order to see what's going on. It's all in front of me at one view. So that's why I like it and I think it's a really helpful tool. And uh, if you have more questions about it, please let me know.